Hi DIYers, this is Michael from AlarmGrid, and today I'm going to be talking about how an alarm system backup battery works. A backup battery keeps an alarm system running when it loses AC power. AC power is the power that's uh, provided from a plug-in transformer, and the wire runs from the transformer to the panel, and uh, that serves as the primary power source for an alarm system, uh, that is AC power. Uh, but if AC power becomes lost, um, either because the transformer was unplugged, maybe somebody cut the cable, or there's just an electrical outage in the area, then um, it will switch over to its battery backup. Uh, the backup battery, in any case, um, they're, they're always rechargeable batteries. Um, they draw a small amount of power while the system's running on AC power. It's slowly storing some of the power from the AC power connection, the plug-in transformer. I'm just slowly storing a small amount of power over time, so that way when power is lost, uh, the backup battery is ready to kick in and keep the system running, as well as its communicator, which I'll talk a little bit about, a little bit about that in a second. Um, but it's important to understand that um, a backup battery is only a temporary power source for a system. Um, a system shouldn't be expected to run on battery power permanently. It's only meant to keep a system running um, until AC power can be restored. Um, you'll see different specifications for different uh, backup batteries. Um, you'll see some, like the, the minimum is usually that it will keep a system running for at least four hours. Um, you'll see others that will keep a system running for at least 24 hours. Um, it really depends on the system you're using, uh, the backup battery, and um, what, what kind of equipment you're using with the system as well, because equipment uh, will draw some power. So um, those are all things that go into how long, but in most cases, you'll see a backup battery being able to keep a system running for at least four hours or at least 24 hours, perhaps even longer in some cases. If you are in an area where there might be an extended power outage longer than 24 hours, you really might want to look into getting a, a backup generator or, or something of that nature, um, just in case. Um, but um, there are different types of batteries based on whether the system is a wireless all-in-one panel or a traditional hardwired alarm system, a hardwired alarm panel. Um, so I have types of, of both uh, here. Um, this is a, a backup battery pack for a wireless all-in-one panel. Uh, specifically, this one's used with a, a Honeywell Lynx Touch system. Uh, you see that it's uh, just a, a battery pack. It's a pretty compact piece of equipment. And then it has a, a plug-in connector that plugs into the, the appropriate port on the panel, um, inside the panel. And you'll usually find something similar for any wireless panel. You'll have a small battery pack um, with a wire running through it, run, running from it. And um, you'll have a, a connector at the end that plugs into a port. And uh, if you need to power down the system entirely, then you can unplug this uh, to cut battery power. So it's pretty simple. Um, then if you have a wired panel, uh, you'll have something a little bit uh, larger. Uh, this, uh, to me, it resembles uh, more of a small car battery. Um, it's a pretty boxy, heavy piece of equipment here. Um, this can fit inside the panel's metal enclosure, which is nice for keeping it out of the way. Um, but uh, you'll see that um, you'll have to attach um, a battery harness to it. Um, at the top, we have uh, the red terminal for positive power and the, the black terminal for negative power. And um, th these types of batteries can, are, are interchangeable between wired alarm systems in most cases. Uh, so I could use this with a Honeywell Vista, um, a DSC Power Series Neo system, um, an older networks panel, for instance, in most cases. Um, so so you, they're usually pretty interchangeable. But what you do need um, is the proper battery harness um, that usually comes with the panel uh, for connecting it. Uh, just as an example, I have the battery harness for uh, DSC Power Series Neo right here. You see there's a red wire and a black wire. Um, and I'll just show you real quick how these connect. Um, so I, I have the, the terminals right there. And I can just take the, the connector and uh, connect it right there. And then I can do the same for the, the black wire right here, uh, making sure to follow polarity. So red going to red and black going to black for red for positive, black for negative. Um, and then the other end can go uh, to the battery um, connecting place at the panel. Um, so that, like I said, this is for a DSC Power Series Neo system. In the case of a Honeywell Vista, um, it's usually uh, 
fixed to the board. Um, so uh, the part that goes to the system is already fixed on there. And then you just connect the backup battery using the terminals, which is uh, something similar to this. But I just brought the Neo uh, connector just for a little bit show and tell there. So um, you can see that. Um, so one important thing about a backup battery um, is that it will also keep the system's communicator running. Um, it's not just keeping the panel running. It's keeping its communicator running, uh, which is used for uh, monitoring service. And also in the case of a wired system, um, the, the backup power should also be keeping all the connected sensors running. So if you have powered sensors like motion detection sensors or glass break sensors, those will also be kept running. Um, but, but what I really want to stress here is the fact that it keeps the communicator running. Uh, that's also done for a wireless panel. Uh, the panel uses its communicator to send signals uh, to a monitoring platform. Uh, which can then forward the signals to a central station and or the end user directly via text and or email, depending on the user's monitoring plan. Now, if the communicator goes offline, it loses power, then even if the system's kept running, well, that's not going to do you much good. The system's not being monitored. So um, in event of an emergency, a, a, a local alarm can still sound, um, but uh, it's not going to be able to transmit the signal unless the communicator is kept up and running. So uh, with um, with backup battery keeping the system running, uh, that's fine as, as long as the communication path is still available. And by that, I mean if you're relying on IP only and there's an electrical outage and um, you don't have a backup battery for your, uh, your modem, your internet modem, then uh, although your panel will remain online and its Wi-Fi card or whatever it's using for IP connectivity, um, Wireless systems often use a Wi-Fi card. Um, in either case, its, it's IP communicator uh, won't keep working. Um, because, um, I mean, it, it'll still keep working, but the modem won't be online, and the internet will be down because the power's out. Uh, so unless you have a backup battery of sorts for your modem, then that really won't do you much good there. So a lot of users will upgrade to cellular backup. Uh, they'll have cellular communication inside their panels. Um, cellular, cellular communication involves uh, communicating with cell towers, and you don't need a, a modem around your home or your office. Um, and even if the electricity's out, um, you know your, your phone, as long as it's still powered on, will work. It's, it uses cellular technology, and your security system's the same way. Um, it will still be able to do the cellular communication. So even if the internet goes out due to the power outage, um, the backup battery is keeping your system online. It's keeping its cellular communicator online. And since cellular communication just involves communicating with a cell tower, um, your system will remain monitored. Now, if you are using IP only, um, then if you, like I said, if you do have a backup uh, battery for your modem, something of that nature, then uh, it will be keeping its um, IP communicator online, its Wi-Fi card, or its um, IP communicator for Ethernet connectivity, whatever it is, depending on the panel. Um, as long as your modem stays online and you don't lose internet service, then that's also fine, but just uh, keep that in mind. And uh, one last thing I want to talk about with backup batteries is that they have a, a limited useful life. Um, over time, a battery will lose its ability to store a charge, and it will eventually need to be replaced. Uh, this usually happens after about three to five years, sometimes longer. It really depends on the battery you're using and the system you're using. Uh, so um, if you see a low battery message on your panel, then what you should do is uh, give it 24 hours to try and uh, charge itself while the system is running on AC power. Make sure that AC power isn't lost during this time. Uh, because you don't know. It could just be because there was an extended outage and the battery just needs time to recharge. So give it that chance and you know, see if you can clear the trouble condition at that point. But if you can't, after 24 hours of continuous AC power, it's still, you're still getting the low battery message and you can't clear it and you know that it's been running on AC power, and it's been roughly three to five years since your last battery replacement, then it will be time to get a new one for your system. Uh, you'll need to open up the panel, um, remove the old battery, and apply the new one. And then you'll be good to go for the next, again, three to five years, depending on usage. So uh, that's a little bit about how batteries for alarm systems work, backup batteries for alarm systems. If you have any extra questions about backup batteries um, or alarm systems or alarm monitoring services, send an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up below to like the video. And remember to subscribe to our channel for updates on future videos. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.